Did you know Denzel Washington is about to play Hannibal, a beloved African or Carthaginian emperor that existed late in history? Well, here's what you should know about the beloved general and how, you know, Denzel Washington will be able to fit into that very large shoes. Let's, let's take a deep dive into history. Now let's talk about Hannibal for a second. Hannibal was born in about 247 BCE and he is known for his strategic instances and efforts against Rome in the Second Punic Wars. Anyway, let's, let's think about this for a second. Carthaginians were the only ones who were able to withstand the Roman forces at the time. So they were able to do this due to the help and significant effort of Hannibal. Now, his full name, Hannibal Baca, but we'll get to that. We'll get to how we got that name. While Hannibal was growing up, he noticed that the Romans were conquering everywhere. They conquered Egypt and other parts of North Africa. And then his father instilled a very deep-seated hatred for the Romans. Now that makes sense because Romans were pretty horrifying at the time. Hannibal grew up hating the Romans and he grew up hating them with enough resources to do something about it. After conquering several parts of Africa, the Romans decided it was time to conquer the Carthaginians. But little did they know that young Hannibal was waiting for them with enough resources, elephants of course, and enough brain power to conquer them. Well, to push them back. Hannibal is mostly famous for defeating the Romans using fat, big elephants. Now, the Romans had fast horses, but Hannibal was able to use elephants to defeat them and he defeated them in the winter now this is why it is very important for you to understand what i'm saying africa does not have winter and Hannibal went straight into italy and was able to defeat the romans at the seat of their power in the winter now think about that for a second now just let that marinate unfortunately unfortunately and this is actually quite sad he was eventually defeated by the romans but he didn't just like get defeated, he didn't just like go into exile. He did so as a confident man who had beaten the Romans, unlike any other person or any other character from Africa, and then went into exile like a man that he was, the Hannibal that he was. He was a general, a powerful general, and he stood on his toe to the very end. When the movie comes out, and I hope that it is very soon, I will be here to tear it apart and give you details of every scene and every battle in order for you to understand it properly and understand the importance of the movie. Of course, we expect great things from Denzel Washington and the director of Faco himself because they have been able to deliver great things in the past. Anyway, don't forget to follow I Love Africa for on all platforms on TikTok, YouTube, Instagram as well as Facebook.